Okay, we are back in the kitchen. Sassy <laughs> Mama. By the way, we did add a little bit of chocolate to our peanut yes, butter earlier. I can't so wait we'll, to try it. Yes, exactly. We just have to blend it some more. It's not smooth enough yet. And we're yeah. trying to keep it a little quiet because we're There's very a tornado busy in the, the weather, ground, yeah. in the better, weather center. We don't want to run the food process. No, but What no. do you got going now? So now we're going to make like a spice nuts blend. So mm. you see all the time is basically everything bagel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can, it, you know, basically Trader Joe came out with it first and then I got this one at Aldi's. So all that everything bagel is, is sesame seeds, poppy seeds, okay. dried onion, and dried garlic, mm -hmm. and a little bit of sea salt. Mm -hmm. that's, what, yeah. uh, that's what everything bagel seasoning you is. You made your own mix. So when we put it on the nuts, you don't necessarily want to bite into a big dried piece of garlic. So what I did is I've subbed out and I've used garlic powder and onion powder to make the mix. So what you can start with, you can use any blend of nuts you like. Okay. So what I do is I put about a cup of the unsalted roasted almonds. Mm -hmm. And then these that have a little bit of salt, but it's not much, okay. of the cashews. Mm -hmm. It seems like almonds and peanuts to me are always super, super salty yeah. when they salt them. So I just put them in there like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I've added, our mixture is of course going to be poppy seeds, mm -hmm. which my husband says is just an irritant to get in your teeth. Well, that's what I was gonna like, what, like does, uh -huh. what does poppy seed do that's for that? That's what he says, he goes, poppy seeds have no flavor, Karen. So why do we use them? Yeah. I don't know. Like Lemon poppy seed muffins. Why are we I doing don't that? know. They're just an irritant. I really, agree. I, mm. I think the same thing. But I, I'm doing it. It gives some texture. So sesame seeds are in here. I've got the garlic powder, the onion powder. I've gone ahead. Let me see what else I put mm. in there. I can't remember. I've put a little sea salt, and I've added in a little bit of sugar because the sugar is going to kind of make it bind to the nuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this in here, and I've oh, and I put a little smoked pap paprika. Oh, okay. Just for a little heat. little mm. punch. If you want to make it even spicier, yeah, do some red peppers. Yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You're gonna line a baking sheet with a sill pad like this, a silicone pad or uh -huh. do parchment paper, otherwise it'll stick there until next year. You're gonna add two to three tablespoons, again, of a neutral type oil, which is canola or vegetable oil. Mm. And Bobby Sue, yes, I'm gonna mix. have you whisk that together. Okay, we can do it. Whisk it together. Mm. We're gonna pour it on these nuts. So the nuts go down, you put that over it, and then you, how long are we? We're just going to literally bake this for 15 minutes. Every five minutes, go in there, kind of give you it like a little. You like that? Is this enough? You're awesome, yeah. Feel good about it? Give it a little shake. Okay. With the pan to get Woo. the nuts to kind of move around a little bit so they're kind of equally toasted. And then yeah. let them cool. And you are done. Boom. And these are great gifts to give, great teacher's oh, it, gifts. Yeah, for sure. Idea. And an inex inexpensive Do mason snack. jars again. Yeah, mm -hmm. mason jars are your best friends when you're cooking at home. Okay, let's uh, check in now with David Payne at the